You're listening to Future Radio on 96.9 FM. My name's Terry Lee, and this is The Breakfast Show. The next big thing is now in its sixth year. It started um, by the Evening News. Uh, their events team set it up, and the idea of it was to uh, give exposure and give a platform to local bands, local talent. Future Radio is running it now, and the fact that it was always based in Norwich means that the majority of the bands do come from Norfolk. Future Radio's next big thing is in partnership with Fink Norfolk and the council guys from Fink Norfolk, Norfolk County Council, have given us a thousand pounds as a, a prize really, but with loads of other prizes as well, um, it means that winning the next big thing this year is going to be the, well, the best prize for all the bands yet. Last year, the Evening News handed over the event to Future Radio, and Future Radio hosted the whole thing and organised the whole thing. It was a bit of a learning curve for us, actually. It was it was a big success, in, in our mind anyway, and uh, it meant that, um, well, we, we got to sort of shape it the way that we wanted to shape it. A lot of them really rate themselves. I've been lucky enough to speak to all of the acts uh, as, as the event draws nearer. And um, Hair Traffic Control, Alloy Arc, Epichunt, Sula May, Kairos, Console Wars, they're all so confident, which is nice and refreshing. I mean, they've all got nice things to say about each other, but they're all in it to win it. There were about 137 entries in total this year, which is a phenomenal amount. Future Radio wasn't part of the judging process, though. It was um, music industry professionals from around the county and also from around the country as well that got together and shortlisted the 137-ish entries down to 12 semi-finalists. We're just hosting the event, staging the event, and putting it on the radio as well to try and get thousands more people uh, into local music to show off the local talent that we've got. And um, I'm sure whoever wins this year um, will be an excellent example of some local East Anglian talent. Last year's winner, Ed Sheeran, 
He's now doing really, really well for himself. He's got a, a big record deal with a, a big record label. Uh, is supporting a lot of big bands around the country as well. Uh, he's going to be performing again this year at the final, so it'd be nice to see him back and see how he's grown, how he's developed. <laughs> should make the final a really interesting one, both for the audiences and for the judges to make their decisions as well. I've been so selfish.